Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to unbox a coral. So in the uh, last few days, I had the opportunity to purchase a coral that I have always wanted, which is a weeping willow. Now, a lot of people post different willows online and you know, some of them kind of look like it, some kind of don't. And I wanted one that kind of looks like the one Jake Adam has, where it's just super flowy, like ridiculous. But you know, online, everybody's naming coral, weeping willows or holy grails now. And you know, they end up looking kind of like this, which is just a regular toadstool, which is kind of infuriating. Uh, but I finally kind of found one that kind of meets most of my criteria. So we went ahead and purchased it, uh, got it shipped to the house, and something bad kind of happened, which was this guy actually got stuck at a terminal in Kentucky. Um, so it was delayed by a day, unfortunately. And with that delay, um, obviously it was stuck overnight, and it was stuck because of a snowstorm, which was even worse, which means there was a possibility that this guy might have been in the freezing cold, which is super aggravating, especially when your basically your next day air turns into an overnight, turns into two days. Um, but we uh, did get this guy, but this guy did finally arrive. Uh, obviously it's not a fish, it is a coral but uh, we did get it in. When I did receive it, unfortunately, uh, in this little pack, this little heat pack was already gone. Uh, like it wasn't warm anymore, which is unfortunate. Uh, the bag that it came in was honestly kind of cold. And you can kind of see the little weeping willow in there. It's definitely I think still alive I mean it didn't like melt or anything um, but what I did is I have kept it in the tank for the last uh, three to four hours I haven't unbagged it yet I just want to slowly let it bring back up the temp uh, because the worst thing I could do right now is just shock the living crap out of this coral by directly placing it into the tank uh, but now that it has been a few hours we'll go ahead and get it out of the bag uh, leave it in the tank for a bit and we'll see in a while if it uh, opens up or not. So uh, this is the little guy right now, as it is. Um, it doesn't honestly look too bad because I can still see the little bumps on top of the head. Uh, it is a little bit firm, but of course it's probably super strong because it is cold. I mean, if you're a guy, our nuts kind of do the same thing when in that same kind of environment. Uh, well, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and place this guy in the tank for now, and uh, we'll give him a little bit and see how he does. I'm not too particularly worried. Uh, most of the time, I've uh, kind of done the same thing where I've put leathers in some pretty terrible conditions, but most of them usually bounce back. And uh, to be honest, I did kind of smell it. It doesn't smell bad or anything, like it's rotting. So that's also a plus. But uh, yeah, we'll get him right here next to the uh, little outlet right here so there is a little bit of flow and we'll come back a little later and see uh, how the little guy is doing so it's been a few days and unfortunately as you can see it's actually this frag right there uh, the weeping willow actually didn't make it it kind of just melted away on the third day unfortunately I guess just the bag you know being stuck in Kentucky for like a day at UPS, it just didn't make it. I mean, it's, you know, it happens. But the seller did make it up to me and they were able to ship me out another coral. Now, it's not the Weeping Willow itself, unfortunately, because uh, he didn't have any more, but he was selling another one, which was a Japanese Weeping Willow, and the video he had of it was super awesome. So he did send me that. Um, it's been about three days since I've gotten it. Uh, obviously you can see it's still quite unhappy, but generally in my experience, leathers take, you know, quite a while to get their tentacles fully out. They just, they require a longer acclimation, which is perfectly fine. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep watching for this one. Um, the other weeping oil obviously is dead. 
Uh, I do hope at some point I'll be able to get another one and, and hopefully it'll survive and, you know, it'll be super nice. Then I'll have both. Um, I did plan on getting both, but just one at a time. But at least I have the one, which looks super nice. I'll get that white one once I do have the chance. And uh, it'll go along with this uh, Tyree Toadstool. But that is pretty much it for today's episode. Hopefully these guys grow out super nice. Uh, just that long polyps that'll give it real nice motion. But uh, thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.